Hey everyone, welcome back to another entry in the armor tutorial series for Arrow version 6. For this video, we're going to discuss the menu manager. This one's denoted by the three bars, otherwise known as the hamburger menu. So, this module is used to create restaurant style menus, which work very well for web presence and you can use it for basically anything we've got one for our pricing guide but let's just jump right into it so the first thing you're going to need to do is add a menu you'll add the title description and whether or not you want to default enable it then you've got some base level stylings you can do here the first thing is you can change your border color to better match your theme and it will automatically change here as an example and then you can choose the style as well in case you want to do something a little bit more fun than the vanilla solid border. Once you've added the menu, you'll need to manage some categories and add those. This little form here can add your categories, but there is additional information on a category level. So once you've created it and added it to a menu, when you go in and edit the category, you'll see there are a couple things here. First, columns. This is the number of columns you want to display it in. And uh, as an example, I'm going to bring up Barb City Bagels here. So if we look at their menu, you'll see that this category, Baked From Scratch Bagels, is in one column. But the Bagels and Cream Cheese category is in three columns. And so it just allows you to lay out your menu a little bit nicer. So then you can set options. Uh, we recommend no more than five because the styling, especially when it gets to mobile, is a little bit harder. But these can be things like small, medium, large, regular priority rush, uh, basically any options that have different pricing schema. And then these are extras. Extras are, for example, if you're going to a burger joint, the extra might be adding additional pickles, lettuce, tomato for like 50 cents, uh, upgrading the drink for 50 cents, something like that. These are things that apply to that category, but that aren't necessarily different options. And then this will also show you the different items that are inside of that category here. So then you'll have to make some items. Um, as you make an item, you'll enter it in here. But as with the categories, there's additional information. So once you've made one, please go in and edit it. And as you can see, you can actually associate it to an item directly in your e-commerce platform if you have that. And then based on the category options, you will see input fields for price options. And in this case, since this is in the category that's got regular priority rush, you can see regular cost 10, rush cost 20. There's no price for priority. And you can upload an image to display for that item. And I'll show that functionality off here in a moment. But now that we've seen the different pieces, if we go in here and we click on this page, you can preview the menu in your back end. You can see I used the double border and a purple here. It's the armor text pricing menu and the menu's description, categories and category descriptions. And then this is the item inside of this category. And here are the pricing options. So to further exemplify that, uh, that image we were talking about, we're going to go visit Alan's going bananas and inside of his menu, you can see that all of the titles are links. And when you hover over these, it gives you a brief display of exactly what that item is, allowing you to entice your clients just a little bit more by showing them exactly what they should be getting when they order whatever they're ordering from you. Otherwise, I believe that's it for the uh, menu manager. If you've got any questions or feel like I've left anything out, please feel free to email us at support at armortext.com and we'll get back to you with some more information. We appreciate you guys consuming our content. You guys are the reason that we get to do what we love every single day, and we appreciate that, so thank you. And as always, stay awesome.